Six developers made a Scratch game together, but with a twist. There can be no communication between them. Every developer gets only a few hours to make something, and then pass it on to the next developer. The game starts off with the first developer, Baji. He created the base, with a score, a health bar, enemies, and even a scrolling level. Basically what you do is move the player around and you shoot the enemies, and that's pretty impressive, especially considering he only had two hours to do this. However, this isn't the finished game, so let's pass it on to the next developer, Challenger 10k. Alright, so one thing I thought would be cool to add to this first is difficulty. Uh, we can get rid of that, we'll cast a new message for the menu. I see difficulty is hard. Do I think it's a bit of a spamming? Do I have to be more strategic? So I'm going to make it like semi, so kind of. Let me report one of my base things real quick. Alright, so all these ships here. And I'm probably also going to redesign the squares maybe. They can look a little different. To finish it off, I added some sound effects and music to the game. Hello, I'm Spurt and I'm the third dev. Start in medium. What does the medium do? Let's go start. Oh wow. So my first impressions of the game was really positive, but I still felt like there were some small things that needed to be changed. So I'll be spending most of my time on relatively small improvements. The first thing that I changed was the space background and the buttons. I also added some parallax to the background too. Next, I expanded the border and also made the area outside of the border darker. I also spent forever trying to add a simple decoration to the main menu, but after I finished it, it looked pretty good. While playing the game, I noticed that there was only one type of enemy, so I decided to add a boss, which would spawn from time to time. I also thought it was a good idea to give the enemy some knockback when you hit them, so that way you'd get pushed away and not just keep on taking damage. Another thing I noticed was that you could just run away outside of the border, so I added some code to make the borders actually rebound the player back in the arena. And last but not least, I made the enemies have a cool effect for when they got destroyed. And with all of my time used up, I'll pass the project to the next dev. So uh, Project Labs here. After playtesting the full game, whatever the previous developers had done was absolutely wild. And I honestly wasn't sure on what general features to add since the game was already so well put together. However, while I was looking through some of the costumes and code, I did notice that there's more than one ship, but there's no actual way to obtain them. And also noting that you could shoot more than one bullet, I kind of thought this was an invitation to make a shop of some sort. So I spent literally the entire two hour period working on it. To be fair, the shop itself wasn't hard, but the animation for the bullet upgrade was what sucked up so much time. I simply could not figure out the equations to center the bullet's X position. Aside from the shop, I made a new die sound effect, <coughs> mainly because I thought the other one was kinda funky. And after fixing a couple bugs, that was literally my entire block. If I had some more time, I probably would have added a lot more things, but I did what I could. And before I end, this is a quick example of everything I did. To finish my bit, I saved the file and now it's up to Treehouse and Jackson Academy. The first thing I did was press the arrow keys and when the player didn't move, I thought, dang, this guy really copied off of my scratch horror game when you're stuck in place. Then after a little bit of investigation, I realized that the player did move, it's just that I couldn't even see it because there's nothing in the background. So the first thing I wanted to do is make the player seem like it was actually moving. So I started coding a star parallax background. At first, I thought this would be a breeze, but then I realized that this was going to take way longer than I expected. First of all, when I moved off too far to the right, the stars just stayed off of the screen. And I had to code the stars to stay on the screen at all times. I thought I was working for the first 5 minutes, and then I tried changing the costumes to add more stars, and it completely broke the code. Then finally, after 15 minutes of struggling to get the stars to work properly, I had a breakthrough. Next, I changed the background, because who the heck uses the default scratch star background couldn't be me. So after I got the stars working, I realized that the game is way too easy. First of all, the enemies die with just one bullet, and that's not fun at all. So the first thing I did was make a health variable for each enemy, and I coded the enemies to take away the health one by one every time they got hit by a bullet. I've coded so many shooter games in Scratch, so I've basically memorized how to do this. Who who, who used the hit SM64 thwomp sound as the enemy damage sound effect? Probably the worst sound effect that could be used. Now I ran into this annoying glitch, where when I pressed the green flag, I would just sit there waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting for an enemy to spawn. And then miraculously, 20 seconds later, an enemy would just appear out of nowhere. 
I couldn't figure out what was wrong for the absolute life of me. I combed through all the code, nothing wrong. I triple checked through all of the code, nothing was wrong. And then I realized that I forgot to reset my player position. Basically, the player was spawning three miles away from the enemy spawn points. So I made a sprite that would spawn particles at the place where bullets hit the enemies. And here's what it looks like in the game. Now, there was a problem with the bullets where they weren't spawning at the right position. They're lagging a little bit behind the player, and if I moved around really fast, you could see it. So I went into the bullet code, and using math, I didn't even know how it worked. Change x by sine of direction times 5? Yeah, I have no idea what that does, but it works, so... Next, I added a hitback animation to the enemies. Before, shooting at enemies wasn't at all satisfying. It was actually kind of boring, but I made it more juicy with a flash and a boost backwards. Now it's way harder for them to surround you. Also, it's time to code some particle effects. So I got some particles spawning in when you hit the enemies, and I also spent a little bit more time making a pretty juicy explosion effect. I also added a muzzle flash. Even though it's not at all realistic and you probably can't see explosions in space because there's no oxygen, it looks cool and it's my game for this time so I can do whatever I wanted to do. There was also a problem where you could just keep on running from the enemies and they would just clump together at the edges of the screen. So I copied an insanely long block of code from the star sprite that wrapped the stars around the screen. And this way, if you try running from the enemies, they appear back on the opposite side of the screen to attack you. There was also some random sprite called background and I had no idea what it did if any of the code needed the sprite for some obscure reason. Trust me, I wanted to delete it so bad, but I also didn't want the project to break, so I just left it in there. This is triggering my OCD so bad, I wanted to delete it. I was having this issue where once I applied the screen check to the enemies, they just disappeared. Like, like no. I had absolutely no idea why this was happening. What kind of code hides the enemies if the screen shakes? Like the previous times, I combed through the code. Three, four, five times. I could find nothing that was wrong. Then I deleted this, this one if else block. If x minus scroll x equals show else hide. I also spent 20 minutes designing this really satisfying text wiggle animation. Did I waste 20 minutes of my life? Yes, was it worth it? Yes. Also, the background of the game was getting kind of boring. So I literally made Earth just to put it in this scratch game. Yes, you're welcome. Now Earth scrolls around in the background so that the game is now, I guess the lore is that you're, you're protecting Earth. Maybe someone else designed the lore. I don't get paid enough for this. Actually, I don't get paid at all. Okay, there was this really annoying problem. Basically, when you shot the enemies, the enemies would flash, then they wouldn't turn back to the original color. I knew which code was making the enemies turn white, the set brightness effect to 100. But you see, I set the brightness effect back to zero after the code ran, so theoretically, this should not have been happening. Not gonna lie, I almost spent an hour trying to fix this bug. Even when I took out the set brightness effect to 100, guess what, it still flashed. How the heck does the brightness effect set to 100 if I took out the code that sets the brightness effect to 100? So I took a break from my computer and put on my limited edition, edition Jackson, Jackson Academy, Academy Exo Soccer hoodie. hoodie made out of 17% cotton. Want to impress your friends and look like you're fluent in Japanese? Purchase, Purchase it now, now at jacksonacademy.myshopify.com and use code Jackson Academy for 30% off at checkout. Check check Up to this point, I had still kept the default look for the logo and the score, but there was no way I'm using Scratch's default font in my part of the game. So I opened up Photoshop and started looking for a really nice font. I went through dozens before I found the perfect one. So I redesigned the logo of the game, Square Shooter, and then I exported every number from 1 to 10 and put it inside of the game. Making a logo that doesn't seem like it was cobbled together by a 5 year old is surprisingly hard to do, but luckily I have plenty of experience creating logos for my game, so it was a breeze for me. When I went back to the project to change the costumes, I noticed that all of the sprites had a bunch of costumes. Some were a pixelated version of the sprite, while other costumes had a complete vector version. So I imported the logos and numbers into the game, and also created a small player icon in the menu where you could change your skin, and that's it for me. Okay, this is Tutti Aswan here. I started playing the previous submission, and I found it was super hard to progress in the game. And you died pretty easier. Yeah. I went for the progression system first. I decided to make an XP system so you can progress and unlock new skills so you can get better prepared for any giant attacks from the enemies. I made the XP drop from the enemies when they die, but but I couldn't get the XP to not drop when you run into the enemy. I also added two new bits you can get from gaining XP and leveling up. First boost is a simple one as it just raises the maximum health you have. Second boost added a regen system so you can heal during combat to be able to get rid of the enemies without dying quickly. It fixed the first problem and helped fix the second problem, but I needed to add some more. I have then added shower ability that makes an impenetrable shell around you so you can run away, and the dash ability where you can dash around killing everything. 
the second problem was to explore what an end to a game. I then added a buff which was pretty much impenetrable. Okay, so, okay, I, I really like the this effect, the watery yeah. effect, and this is I had like a random spaceship floating across the screen. Maybe it bugged out so badly that it just didn't show up. When you die, it just breaks. Oh, someone added an extra health bar. Actually, cool. Oh my, oh my god. Oh. Oh my, god. This, oh my god, this is Yo, so cool. Okay, cool. this is too loud, oh. but oh my god, this is yeah. so cool, bro. What is that extra health bar? Because I see there was there was like one or two health bars wait, wait, on wait, the wait, screen. Wait, guys, 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 a bug, a bug. What? <laughs> is this a bug? Can you, are you supposed to be able to do this? Do what? What does this do? Can you click? Wait, there wait, is a that? shop. I made okay, it so you so can- the shop is just in the game now. Okay, that's- Wait, there's recoil? Is there like recoil? I there added is. recoil, I remember here. Yeah. That is actually- that is cool. That is sick. This is like better than like 90% of the products on featured, I feel like. What would be anything you wanted to add to the game after- after? It's a death yeah, screen? Yeah, the death screen is like the- like, like, let me just die real quick. <laughs> I did- I did um I did the death screen. It was like- I think- I thought someone else would do it for me. I was yeah. like, I'll leave it up to someone else. You know, there's like, what, three other devs after me? And then no one yeah. did it. <laughs> Yo, the okay, effects then. are so cool though. Look at the cannon effect. Okay, what was your favorite part of the challenge? <laughs> yeah, this, this, this feeling of just, you know, someone else will be able to do it if I mess up. But it's I also like fun that. to see like my boss. Like the, I added the boss and it's still around. Uh, who was the guy that added like okay so in every single sprite there was a pixelated costume and then there was a vector costume oh yeah exactly. what was that for i changed it to um i changed it to pixel to make it look more like um but i made a vector of so in case people wanted to modify it i thought someone would be mad if i took out the pixel oh no it's pixel i can't add the boss because my rescale is gonna look so ugly because i was yeah. adding the different emotions for the boss what happened to the <laughs> eyebrows though for the boss i'm pretty sure i added mad eyebrows did i not i don't i don't remember seeing eyebrows yeah i do not remember seeing that there Wait, oh. if I spend all my time on the menu <laughs> and fixing bugs and stuff. But like, I'm, I'm not, I can't be mad. Like, who, who, no one can get mad on a like, a, like, a, like, this is such a good background. I also, if you click on the, I made it so if you click on the player, it should change it. It's so like, it'll change your costume in the game. Whoa. Oh, oh. I'm happy all my ships stayed though. I, I kept all the ships. I hope no one else. Oh, um, uh, I spent like a lot of time on the border, but like, I was such a bad border. It looks like terrible. So I'm glad that got removed. Wait, then where's the th wait? What's the third bar? Is that not a health bar? I think it's the leveling bar, the progress or XP maybe, or maybe it's XP? the time you get to upgrades. Like, I thought there were enemies. <laughs> I thought those were enemies. Like the yellow things? Yeah. Oh, oh you can collect they them. They are XP orbs or healing oh, orbs, whatever orbs cool. they are. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, okay, so um, just going off to the second question there for maybe more content. <laughs> I think one thing that we could do, um, like if this was a finished game, right, would be to make yeah. the communication more clear. Like one have have like a heart icon beside it, have a level icon. But what is that? What? What, what is what that? That, that is an ultra enemy. <laughs> Yo, bro, what is that? That was Treehouse. I do not. I did not code that in. He said he added some bosses, some uh, some minor improvement to the bosses. Yeah, that's Iron definitely boss. the boss. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's like not glitching out with the size of it. I had no, so I know, much right? problem on the screen boundaries. Like the oh, my God. oh my, do you guys see the, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my version of the game was, I felt like there was fun, but it just wasn't fun enough. And the, like the leveling system and like how satisfying it is. Like, look at, like, I want, like, look at these enemies. Like, yes, look at this. I, like when I got the project, I, I didn't really know what to do. So I, I was just trying to make everything like satisfying. So I did like the screen shake and the hit effect. Oh, did you, oh yeah, I noticed that the camera isn't locked onto the player anymore. Yeah, I made it follow. Like when I first played it, I wasn't sure whether I could move or not. I was just stuck in place. So I oh, that's God. why I added the, the parallax effects. And I made yeah, it like lag so behind. Cool. I love this, like the background stars were snow war. What is that? Uh, it's snow, it, it was stars. <laughs> Did someone like, say subscribe for a cookie? <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. great. That was such a good game. Yeah. That was beautiful. And with that, the project is done. <laughs>